to focus more on why we uh, developed and supported GNOs, especially through this initiative called Open Data for Resilience Initiative. The main goal of the World Bank, one of the main goals is to reduce poverty. And uh, within uh, uh, the different sectors, the different uh, um, units within the World Bank, our unit uh, at GFDRR works to um, improve uh, disaster risk uh, information and disaster risk uh, reduction. Um, so we go through the um, different phases of disaster risk management, from disaster risk reduction to preparedness to financial protection and resilient recovery. Across all these uh, different phases of disaster risk management, the important thing that we try to develop to make these uh, phases uh, possible is to improve, uh, to develop and improve uh, uh, detailed collection of information, the management of the information, and the analysis of the information related to this. So the problem in many of the countries that we work with and that we support is that the information is not accessible. Uh, it sits in different uh, uh, servers on different platforms from different line industries. And so um, the accessibility and the discoverability of data is, is limited. Uh, the data often is uh, incomplete, and so there are gaps in the data. And, uh, and it might not be structured and organized to make it easily discoverable uh, through uh, online platforms. And uh, the last and most important thing is that even if the data exists, then it's not used effectively to, um, to make decisions with regards to, uh, to risk. So through OpenDRI, we have these three main pillars that we try to uh, develop in any of the projects that we do. And the three main areas are around sharing information, collecting information, and using information. So when uh, uh, we typically uh, start a project uh, uh, with OpenDRI, uh, we use tools like OpenStreamMap and the OpenStreamMap tools to collect uh, the information to help the local communities to collect the information. We use tools like GeoNode for sharing information and uh, other open source tools like uh, QGIS or InnoSafe to analyze and, and understand the, um, the information that is being collected and shared. If you go on the website, opendri.org, it's been recently uh, redeveloped and restyled, you will see a map of all the, the projects that we support with OpenDRI. The footprint is pretty much global from Central to South America to Eastern Europe to uh, Africa and in East Asia and the Pacific. The details of, uh, um, of all the of all the information, of all the um, of all the projects that we work with, can be found online, and we organize these projects and the uh, the website and the map through the different through the three pillars that we uh, uh, that, that characterize the, the projects and the open open DRI initiative. So today, I'm only going to focus on the sharing. Of course, we're here to talk uh, about GeoNode, and GeoNode is uh, the software that we have been supporting. Uh, the, the, the World Bank has been supporting for, for many years and then for, and there's a platform that we use for uh, implementing the sharing through these uh, uh, OpenDRI projects. The consequence of supporting um, uh, projects for uh, um, OpenDRI project for sharing is that uh, then we end up with many GNOs. So if you go on OpenDRI, you see the links to the countries, you end up on different uh, uh, GeoNode that has been developed uh, um, directly with government clients or, or ministries in the different countries. And each of those have uh, uh, information about risk and uh, hazards and uh, vulnerability. And uh, they all have been styled to reflect the needs in the specific uh, uh, countries that we work with. <coughs> As I said, you can find uh, more information on each of the page of these projects. One of the examples that I want to um, discussed today or just present as, uh, uh, as one of the successful examples of uh, using GeoNode 
Malawi, a country in Africa, uh, which has been affected uh, by floods in 2015 and affected the areas, uh, one of the poorest areas in, uh, in the country, affecting more than 600,000 people, displaced, displacing more than 200,000. We have, uh, the, the World Bank has been uh, uh, supporting Malawi to develop a, a platform uh, called MASDAP uh, since 2012. And uh, this platform is a geonode with all the relevant information for, uh, for risk. Um, so the platform was used during the, the floods, before and, and during the floods, to collect information that then was made available online and easily accessed uh, during the response phase and also during the, uh, the aftermath to, um, to do all, all kind of uh, uh, response uh, activities, including post-disaster needs assessment. And this was all uh, made possible because of the data was uh, aggregated and shared online to the, the GeoNode uh, um, that was, was developed uh, within the government. Um, these projects uh, cannot be uh, successful and uh, impossible unless there's real engagement with the local community. So one of the, the key uh, uh, strategy points in, in many of the Open DRI projects is really to engage with the local community both for collecting the data, as I said we use OpenStreetMap and the OpenStreetMap tools for collecting data, but also in understanding how to use uh, the data available to uh, uh, the geonode, how to uh, analyze it, and this only happens when you build the local capacity for people to understand uh, the information that is available, how to contribute to the information and how to use it. So typically when we start a, uh, a project with OpenDRI, we go through uh, a methodology that is pretty um, uh, standard. We, we're trying to standardize so we can document it, we can replicate it, we can have other partners, other countries replicate the same approach. And so we start with a um, need assessment and we try to understand what are the problems with sharing data with uh, risk information in the country and also understand what data is already existing. In, uh, and try to uh, see if the, the process of collecting data can fill in the gaps in, uh, in, those, uh, in, in, in those data sets. <coughs> then we uh, support the, the country with the establishment of uh, and maintenance of uh, geospatial platforms, in this case, uh, Geonode, and as I said, uh, uh, in data collection, and then, uh, as I mentioned before, in analyzing the information by using tools like InnoSafe. And then, most importantly, at the, uh, at the end and throughout the process, to design and implement uh, uh, <coughs> and, uh, and communicate the risk information that has been created and available and made available through the, the GeoNode. Um, to do this, uh, for, for uh, communicating the information and, and engaging the community and building the capacity, uh, we do different types of activities, uh, training, we organize several training, we uh, engage uh, companies and organizations in the general community to go into the countries and do training to, uh, with, about GeoNode, about OpenStreetMap, about InnoSafe. Um, and also we uh, finance, the, the World Bank finances uh, other activities like tech ch uh, challenges or fellowship for developing the core skills uh, locally for uh, developers or students to understand the, uh, the technology and be able to contribute to, uh, to those uh, uh, technologies. Um, while setting up the GeoNode and starting a, uh, um, a phase of, uh, of data sharing, uh, we usually discuss with, uh, uh, with the government what are the existing frameworks for sharing the information? If there are already policies and uh, MOUs, licenses that have already been defined within the country for sharing the information, We're trying to understand uh, if those could be applied to, to build on top of those policies and build a platform uh, based on top of those policies. Um, we work with the government also to understand what is the local capacity of setting up a geonode on the local infrastructure, whether 
a uh, cloud infrastructure might be more appropriate to make the information more accessible. Um, also, uh, very important to the sustainability of, uh, of the GeoNode, of the data sharing platform, is to, um, to leverage local working groups, uh, maybe intra-ministry working groups that already are working on data, and maybe data sharing, how can we support them to make sure that they take ownership of the platform and that they uh, uh, really make use of the, of the data sharing platform for, uh, for analysis and understanding risk. And then, of course, as I mentioned before, building the local capacity technologically, uh, train uh, local developers to be able to own the resources and, and the platform itself. And then, of course, throughout the year, since the, uh, the engagement, making sure that the, that the, that the data and the, and the platform has been used to uh, directly uh, um, direct the disaster response and, and reduction applications. The Open Data for uh, Resilience Initiative <coughs> is uh, uh, anchored around uh, nine main principles. Uh, we, um, uh, one of our, uh, of our uh, team members, Robert Soden, has been developing a, a, a paper that uh, discusses these nine principles. But these are that the data should be open by default, accessible and licensed and documented, should be co-created and locally owned. Um, there should be uh, uh, the, the user, the user uh, should be engaged, the, the, the local user community should be engaged, there should be uh, local institutional partnership developed uh, to support the, the project, there should be clear long-term goals, and uh, most importantly, and especially for, um, for Juno, that uh, the open source is prioritized. Why we want open source to be prioritized? Using and developing the technology is not the, the hardest part in many of these uh, uh, situations where we're trying to build systems and tools for understanding risk. It's more to have, uh, it, it's harder to uh, create the, uh, uh, the buy-in and the understanding within the stakeholders of why uh, having these systems improves the, uh, their understanding of risk. But definitely having an open source uh, uh, software option, it reduces the barrier to entry to, uh, to using the software. So definitely the cost is a factor in, uh, in, in, uh, in sustainability for, um, for, for data sharing platforms. Um, of course, uh, as, a, uh, as, an open, as an open source uh, software, uh, as, as Jeff, showed us and as you all know, uh, it's easier to build the uh, um, uh, capacity locally through university, through developers, through communities around the world. And so collaborate locally uh, and internationally with other groups that are doing the same things. And then also being open source, it can be easily uh, customized. And, uh, and that is very important as we've seen all the GNOs are all different at this point in the different countries. There are different applications that are being developed both to the specific needs. Um, the other advantage of open source is that, as we have seen through the growth of the communities, that fosters innovation in local and, and, uh, and global business. And then, uh, uh, ideally, through the use of open source, it's also easier to be more autonomous, not having to rely with uh, on. Uh, on international or foreign uh, companies to be able to maintain and, and develop and improve uh, um, the platform. So, so the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the activities that we do with, uh, with the World Bank to support uh, GNO, as Jeff has mentioned, has been uh, going on for, for many years now, six years. And uh, right now we have several uh, ongoing contracts where we support direct uh, core development of open source. Here are just some examples, but later today there will be more pre presentations by some of the, uh, the groups that we work with. For example, we're working on a redevelopment, a redesign of the homepage on uh, supporting extracts from OSM, from OpenStreetMap, the metadata 
um, editor has been re rethought and uh, redesigned, and we are in the process with uh, uh, GeoSolutions to uh, try to crack the metadata uh, and make it less uh, boring to, uh, to to do. Um, other things that we've 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 sponsored and supported. Uh, this was a, a study done uh, this year to understand what is the user base and and of of GeoNode. Uh, and then provide recommendation on how to improve the, the design, uh, for example. Uh, and uh, other things that we do, uh, as I mentioned before, we have Challenge Fund for uh, this initiative called Code for, Code for Resilience, where we um, invest in uh, local developers uh, through fellowships mm -hmm. to, um, for them to, to learn some of the technology and develop components or pieces of, uh, of as uh, I'm not gonna uh, touch on this, as Jeff already mentioned, uh, the, this year we also uh, funded this uh, this study to understand the return of investment and the results uh, uh, of uh, everyone here, the community. I have this slide from from Vivian, uh, uh, but I'm sure it's it's out of the day. There are many more partners here that are listed. So. You can go on the website opendri.org. You can see publications that have been produced over the years uh, that talk more in general about OpenDRI. But now, uh, I don't think the the recent uh, uh, study has been published yet. It will be published within uh, one or two weeks. The one that Jeff presented. But yeah, if you have any question or you want to see what we're doing and uh, and read some of the publications, you can go on the on the website and find them. Thank you.